come out from Ned, but I, I think he is going to stick to what's been working. We haven't seen the PT very much throughout Bracket today. We've seen it a couple of times come out. He did bring it up earlier um, against, who was it? Wasn't it, it was, wasn't it an Olimar player? No, it was. It was an Olimar yeah. player, yeah. It wasn't MFA though. It, was, it, it wasn't was it Myron? It wasn't Myron. No, it wasn't Myron. I can't remember who the Olimar player was, but we the, did see the it point, earlier. The point stands is that Ned played PT at some point in this bracket. So he will resort to PT if he feels he needs to. But I think in this upper echelon, I think Sephiroth definitely is the character you start with because just being able to play at a range is already going to give you an advantage in this game. The music is so common. I'm, I'm just I like, don't like it. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just chilling out to this one. I'm, I'm trying to get hyped about the matchup we have. After all that final boss music we just had, I don't know about this. Who chose this song? I bet you it was Looking Cosmos. I would bet anything that it was Cosmos. You think it was Ned? Or you think it was Cosmos? Absolutely. Uh, my money's on Ned. <laughs> okay. Either way, though, speaking of money on Ned, keeping it very, very even, trying to get this edge guard, but Cosmos keeping him off stage very, very strongly. Yeah, and this is essentially going to be like a similar matchup that we that Ned had to deal with in winter semis, where he's going to have someone who can e very easily close the gap against him. So he needs oh. to be careful with when he is pushing buttons, especially using tilt and uh, like aerial attacks with the giant sword because of the recovery. I absolutely love the fact that Ned is just not afraid to, to, not even spam, but constantly send out those, almost dying there, but constantly send out those neutral airs because it kind of creates a little bubble where you can't come in here. This is my zone, my personal space, and you're going to stay out. Yeah, and against Mithra, that's going to be a great tool, but against Pyra, she has a much bigger sword in comparison to Mithra, Oof. and uh, the hitboxes last a little bit longer, and that's what you really need to be careful of. Okay, I like that. I like that. You're unsure if, uh, if Cosmo's going to recover early or not, but guess what? F tilt, the less traps, that's where we came from, Ned. That's where we came to see. I know I don't even need to like keep an eye on Ned's back to see if he's got one wing or not, because I'll know when he has one wing because he just starts down smashing. Oh, true. True. See, Fatality and T3 Dom, by the way, playing out right now. The crowd is going wild, but we have a banger of a set here, too. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to beat the winner's finals match. Hey, but I will point out, Mr. SoCal, you don't got any SoCal players left in winners. I mean, we'll see. No. Tournament isn't over just yet. But none of them can get in winners. They're all down in losers. I mean, see, that's the thing about tournaments that I love. Everyone can go to losers. That's true, but no one's going back to winners. No one is going to winners, that's for sure. Hashtag SoCal sucks. But anyway, we get that stock taken by Cosmos to even it right back up. Now Ned only holding on to a bare 12% lead, but making it a lot wider now. Okay, the Nair out of shield not going to connect. That's really the combo starter that Ned is looking for. As soon as he gets one Nair, could possibly lead to two Nairs, three Nairs, especially if he's able to get these platform resets. Oh, okay, extending the F tilt. Very good, Ned. A good down tilt to two frame there. Doing it again, goes for the fair and keeps Cosmos stuck off stage. Tries oh. for the scintilla, but really, really good timing from Cosmos to get back. The mind games from Cosmos. Switching to Mithra to bait out Ned with the counter and then switching back to Pyra to do the very low recovery and getting straight up. But guess what, Ned, Les Traps. Still fantastic. That's still going to take another time. I mean, that that's that sword covers so much space. There's really nothing that he can kind of do there to to keep to get back up on stage because a jump fatality could very well read with a turnaround bear, but it doesn't really matter. That's right. And here you go, Cosmos, once again on the hunt, trying to eliminate this stock. It's gonna be very difficult for him as Ned continues to what? really apply pressure. And no way! Wow, so early, Dare? Cosmos. Not able to make it back, especially with a susceptible recovery like Ray of Hope. I mean, he wasn't even below him. I mean, right? but wasn't he though? He was. He was like out and to the right. But I mean, that's still below. No. If you angle it correctly. No. I mean, you could turn the sword. He was, but he didn't. That's <laughs> he the didn't. Thing. He just. He just jabbed no it straight down. Adjustments needed. Coming that sword down is like on a Cosmos. Force field. Like Aether. Like it's, Ares. Yeah, it's it's a little little windshield, coating the sword <laughs> so that it hits all the way out to the side. Absolutely insane. Yeah, great set coming from Ned. What a way to end game one. And I want to see what Cosmos can do to adjust it. Okay, looks like he's adjusting the music. Maybe that's the answer. He's, he, we're right back to the final boss themes right here. No, see, I mean, that's what we needed. Cosmos is an anime boss. He's a, he's a big anime enthusiast, as you see with the, the pain peco tag. 
Yes, yes he is. I mean, if you don't know about the Ayaya memes and how much this man uh, actually had to suffer for, for previous summits and, uh, and drives, go oh, look up man. some Ayaya. Oh, man. Ayaya, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. But we... We don't have time for that right now, as we've got Cosmos getting a fantastic F smash to punish Ned's Octo Slash towards stage. Man, there's a lot of words that sound like Ash. <laughs> like Ash? Octo Slash. Oh, yeah. F smash. Right. Yeah, you're right. Getting the bear there, though, and that's going to take out the first stock from Ned. A good start to Cosmos. You were talking about adjustments, and we're seeing a lot of great ones here. Yeah, I think maybe just eliminating the platforms is what Cosmos needed to do. Because as you can see, without the use of platforms, even though we didn't really see Ned trapping on them too hard, just being them, just having them eliminated is giving a much more linear game plan for Ned. And with a character as mobile as Mithra, it's allowing him to just easily weave around Ned's game plan. Yeah, it's very, very tough for, for Sephiroth. Sephiroth has Ooh. a lot of great movement options. For one critical thing that I'd like to point out is, in a difference from the Karama set is we're not seeing Ned make very good use or any use whatsoever, really, of Shadow Flare. And that's because Mithra is so fast, so mobile, like you were talking about, that he doesn't have the opportunity to set up Flare or Shadow Flare. He's going to try for it here, but see, he immediately has to cancel it because Mithra is approaching so fast. Yeah, I think if you go for Flare, you're really trying to either use it for some movement or you're trying to bait out your Woo! opponent. The Octo Slash, though. Octo Slash, fantastic tool, and guess what? Your Slash, you have something similar, Cosmos, but it's not the same. Cosmos tries for the, the side B to get back to stage, but just a little bit too far off, not able to make it happen. Okay, and that's the F Smash from Cosmos, putting him up, putting him up one complete stock. I mean, this is really the cushion that Cosmos wants to play at, but guess what? He is not going to stop this aggression that he's been placing onto Ned. It's been getting him a lot of mileage, and he's going to continue to play that way. No, absolutely not. He's gotten himself a little bit of an advantage. Why would he take his foot off the gas right now? Ned comes back up onto stage, tries for these nares, and hey, there's our first Shadow Flare. Okay, there you go. No way, Cosmos. What a risk to take to go off stage, because there's not many characters oh. that can challenge Octo Slash. It's such a huge disjoint. But Pyra and Mithra being able to use that ray of punishment from up above. Yeah, using the ray of punishment, also having access to something that's like uh, Witch Time in case he needs to escape. I mean, he's got the tools to really to abuse uh, the range and the slow, laggy moves of Sephiroth, but can he close out the stocks one more time to even up the score? Let me see an up oh. out of shield. Let me see an up out of shield, Cosmos. That was a really risky roll there for Ned. He wasn't able to get anything off of it, but didn't get punished either. So we'll call that a win overall. And speaking of a win overall, that landing up air catches Cosmos by surprise, takes the stock, but with 119% on him, and especially with Pyro being out, he's not going to be living too much longer. Yeah, and there you call go. Call me There's no You are, in fact, Lastradamus, <laughs> as uh, Cosmos does, in fact, take game two. I feel, I just feel like Cosmos was getting a little bit too comfortable throwing out those full hop down airs. Ned calling it out, which is why we saw even saw a last stock situation in game two. But, of course, Cosmos really illustrating that most, if not all, of uh, Pyra's moves can kill. Taking the game two with the dash attack. Battlefield. Oh, I That's love it. It's an interesting choice here. Nice. I wonder. We oh, haven't seen Ned on Battlefield yet. We, we have Sephiroth. not. And I, I just, I really wonder if they're picking Battlefield just so that they can choose any song they want. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a great so, way to do it. <laughs> big brain play to counterpick on the Battlefield. I but respect it. Battlefield's also a very good stage for Sephiroth. He has the ability. We talked about it on Smashville in the Karama set, where he can just completely cover platform. Doesn't matter which way you tech, doesn't matter which way you roll. Sephiroth can still hit you, so platforms do him a lot of justice, but they also serve Pyra and Mithra very well as Cosmos off to a great start. Yeah, just look at the combo game that the platforms really allow Cosmos to use. Just essentially getting only one, maybe two hits led Ned to having 87%, and now Ned is returning the favor. Tries for the Nair, but is unable to get it, and Cosmos playing around all of these hitboxes from Sephiroth beautifully, making sure that not a single one of them is in a position to catch him. It's just like the occasional Nair. But other than that, Ned's not finding anything. Yeah, just look at the way that Ned's like maneuvering around the stage. He's using platforms not only to pressure Woo! Cosmos, but actually like reset, change the positioning, allowing him to approach in a different angle. And okay, like that. I love that. Use the Octo Slash. Get back to the stage. 
and just have Cosmos continue to play the chasing game. I think that might be one of the first side Bs from Pyro that we've seen Cosmos do at all. Just doesn't really use the move much, and I wonder what what in Cosmos' mind tells him like it's not worth it to use, because I see a lot of other Pyro and Mithras like Spargo, like MKLeo, using it liberally. I mean, it really it's a great spacing tool, but at the same time, if you don't pressure your opponent, if you don't put them in a disadvantaged position or even in a shield, then you are going to be vulnerable. And I think Cosmos would just rather play neutral instead. Foresight straight through that up smash, able to hold on to the stock still. 136, up B back to stage, and Ned still can't take it. There he does, but he still is going to eat that side B to the face for his troubles. And honestly, if we don't see another side B for the rest of the set, I won't be surprised. You, like you said, we haven't seen many side Bs from Pyra, from Cosmos. Uh, and, you know, the couple times we did see it, it didn't really work out in his favor. Absolutely, but gets the gets the nair, tries to chase with the up air, gets the dash attack into it. Oh. Ned's just having a hard time touching the grass. Speaking of being unable to touch the grass, gets caught by the no. Scintilla, not gonna kill, is going to kill Cosmos. Gets reversal in the worst of ways off stage. Yeah, that was super unfortunate for Cosmos. He used he went off stage for a very aggressive edge guard against Ned, which I love. But at the same time, he expended majority of his resources. So even the slight hit that he got from Ned was enough to lose his stock. It's the back throw, tries to chase. Cosmos kind of having a little bit of a hard time this time catching Ned in. I might have spoke too soon. Catches Ned's full hop with the up tilt, gets the kill. Oh, it's going to be, I mean, it, it seems like we've always coming down to these last stock situations from these players. Very rarely are we seeing a game where there's uh, an extensive lead between one or the other. I think the only time we saw that was Ned versus Karama game five. That's the only time where one player has been like distinctively in the lead the whole time. Yeah, so we're just continuing to see these back and forth. Love to see it. I would say that was a jump, but guess what? The wing came in clutch for Ned, allowing him to jump once again. It oh. has some of the best luck with when wing comes out. Always gets it at just the right time and gets Oh, looks for the F-Tilt, can't quite find it. Cosmos gets back up on stage. This is the opportunity that he needs. Ned tries for the Scintilla. Okay. Unable to find it. Yeah, unable to find it. Ned able to make it back to the stage. And here we go, last hit situation once again. Side B coming, putting pressure onto Ned. Are we going to see the up B shield? What is it going to be from Cosmos? Oh, the forward air from Ned lands. Woo! Oh, my God. Ned misses, but he's still alive. The up B. Oh, oh, but Cosmos with such a good chase off stage. Finds Ned in middle of the charge for the, uh, the Mega Flare and punishes him so hard for it. And little update for the people in chat. If you heard all of that cheering, <laughs> that's because T3 Dom just took out Fatality. Yeah, no SoCal sucks. I don't want to hear that anymore, all last. Right. No all more right. SoCal sucks. I'll give it to you. You have one good player. <laughs> we, have, we have many good players. You only have one in this top <laughs> we eight. We have one in top eight. But we have many good players. It's a SoCal event. It's a SoCal local, and you've only got one man here. Hey, you can't you can't compare the rest of SoCal when you bring in like top 20 PGRs. Oh, uh, yes, I can. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. I'll remember this whenever I go to wherever you are. <laughs> Please don't. I live in Alabama. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Alabama and be like, what is this? What are we looking at, the Dude, last? You guys even stole our best player. Chili Chili's here now. <laughs> See? No one wants to be in Alabama. All right. Anyway, we got Ned and Cosmos. Game four, Cosmos up a whole game, and oh my, I can't, I can't believe Ned actually took him back to, uh, I'm, to Battlefield. I'm very surprised with, it, but it was last stock, last hit. They were both in triple digits percent on their final stock. So Cosmos or Ned rather going back here, not the biggest surprise. And Z Fly, we have a pattern to uphold, and that pattern is getting game fives every winner set. So. If it holds true, Ned's going to be taking this, but at least right now, Cosmos in the uh, in control. Yeah, it's almost like those counterpick stages actually matter because most people are winning on their counterpicks. Okay, another down air from Ned. This time, not going to catch Cosmos uh, with some awkward angles. But okay, oh. that's that's dead. That's absolutely dead, and Ned takes the first stock in style. Only 73% on him, but that's, that's pretty much kill percent for uh, against Pyra. Oh, tries for the dare up smash, but Ned, good tech roll out to get away from that coverage. And hey, I want to point something out. No, Ned! What was it? What were you going to point out? Well, Tell, me. Was, Tell me! Tell uh, me! I was going to
going to point out the fact that Ned has been using a whole lot more Shadow Flare this game number four than he has been for the rest of the set, but he kind of very rudely interrupted me by missing his upbeat back to stage. <laughs> how, how rude of Ned to, to interrupt your, your uh, analysis. Let me do my analysis. Stop doing cool stuff. <laughs> Now Cosmos gets the uh, the grab and chases Ned out. This might have been the blunder of all of, like the biggest blunder of all of top eight, Ned dropping the stock there. Because all of a sudden Cosmos found himself a lot of damage and a big lead gets back onto stage with the prominence revolt, but Ned still holding onto his stock. Yeah, of course, but you know what? Even though, even though uh, Ned forfeited that stock, he did in fact put a lot of damage onto Cosmos. He did in fact lose his stock to Cosmos just now, but we, I mean, this is a very, this is a situation we've seen time and time again. Gets the jab on the ledge. That's going to be 24%. And really good use of the shield there on ledge to just wait for Ned to come on up. Gets the air, gets the back air as well. And Ned kind of struggling in neutral here. Ooh, what's going on? What's going on uh -oh. here? All right. Ned, of course, in these in these positions to actually. Ooh, okay. 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 <laughs> a little oh. bit of lag. Oh. It's online. It's Wi Fi. We're lagging. Someone get in here and help. Oh man, I, I did not sign up for Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm <laughs> having flashbacks, dude. I thought I escaped. Okay, well, Ned really getting pressured on these platforms. Cosmos doing a great job only Ooh. to get knocked off stage. And there you go. There's the double switch. Gives him a little bit of defensive with the invulnerability between switching, but only to get up with neutral get up and get hit by dash attack. That Sephiroth dash attack is something else. Gets the Shadow Flare though, and he's going to be chasing with the Triple Nair. Tries to go even higher. Gets the up air, and this could be what Ned needs to get himself back in the game. Has almost completely erased Cosmos' lead from a second ago. Yeah, I mean, it, it, that, whatever lead Cosmos had is definitely gone. This is even stocks, even percent. I don't care even how small that deficit is. Dash attack. Dash attack closer to the ledge oh. would have absolutely killed now, Ned. Trying to come back to the stage. Tries for the scintilla, but can't find it. Cosmos playing around him so carefully. His movement's been impeccable throughout the set, and he's going to make it, have to make it a little bit longer. Tries oh. for the grab. Ooh. Whipping that grab in that position, so scary, but okay, good Ooh. air dodge. Crossing up Ned, and now Cosmos retaking center stage. These really cover so out. much space, dude. They cover so much space, but guess what? Not enough to kill from across stage. We're going to try and see a setup for down air. Will he get it? Yes, and he will. Cosmos is in winner's grand finals for the last spot in the last chance qualifier. Cosmos looking to be poised to take that summit spot with a 3-1 victory.